Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the show. We're here in Times Square, New York City. We made the opportunity to interview Why Love, one of the most talented Jewish rappers on the market today. Let's take a closer look. So how did you get into this business? Hip hop for me started in a positive environment. It started in yeshiva when I was in Or Sameach in Jerusalem. The first guy that they gave me to learn with was a Jewish MC from Long Island. He and I used hip hop as a way to learn Talmud better, to learn Gemara better, to learn Torah better because Talmud is something where you have to memorize a lot of cases, who learned what, from whom, where, in what order, things like that, who heard what from whom. So we used freestyling as a way to be able to take in large amounts of text in a short amount of time. You are part of that unique Jewish flavor that's on the market. How do you feel about that? Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving the fact that there is a Jewish flavor on the market. Like, anybody who knows, like, you know, obscure hip hop will remember Maya Ali from back in the day came out with her song called Life's a Test in the early 90s, which was basically Islamic theology put into hip hop. Um, the how many Jesus walks, you know, like how many Christian songs do we have out there? I'm glad that the Jewish community is getting our voices out there and getting Jewish values out onto the mainstream, into the media, onto the hottest stations. I mean, it doesn't stop at Drake. Like, you know, there's a lot of Jews out there who are making hot music and it's good that we're finally getting a voice. And you have a new album coming out? Oh, most definitely See Me drops, oh, this weekend, um, May, uh, May 17th is the, is the album release on iTunes, um, a video release for This Is Unity coming out May 14th, um, yeah, a whole lot of big things going on. In and you know, when you, when you think of like Unity, there's a lot that comes, you know, together, in, in, in your video, you have a lot of different types of, uh, of people coming together to, to show their love for, 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 for Judaism, for being together. How do you all put that all together? For me, it's a metaphysical issue. If we believe that God is infinite, and if we believe that God is everyone's created in God's image, then it follows, and if we believe that God is one, then it follows, if, if we're created in God's image, we should be one too. It's just that simple. Any divisions destroy the world, and all unity builds the world. If we believe that every human being has intrinsic value, then we're not going to go out and be racist. We're not going to go out and kill people. We're not going to go out and be terrorists or extremists trying to be judgmental on other people. If we really believe that every person is created for a reason even, then it's going to follow suit that we want people to achieve that reason. We want people to have productive lives. We want people to have the same productive lives that we do. That's unity. That's equality. That's love. That's all these types of ideals. That's what I'm trying to put forth in my music because there's enough murder. There's enough drug dealing. There's enough things that destroy communities that are being put out in the urban music industry. Let's get some stuff out there that builds communities, that builds the world. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to switch the game up. Let's make it revolutionarily positive. To just like we we had gangster rap talking about shooting people in the chest and how the and and how their chest is going to be floppy after the after the sternum breaks. We're going to get that level of violent. Let's get that level of positive. Let's get out there in the streets, activism, unity, pro everyone type of speech out there in urban music. That's what we're trying to do. And how do you actually come up with your lyrics? Like what's like, every artist has their own process. What's your process? My rhyme writing process is a really diverse and eclectic experience. Because back in the day, I used to like look at Torah, look at Gemara, look at Zohar, things like that, look at Targum, look at ancient Jewish texts to get my inspiration for lyrics. Today, a lot of my inspiration just comes from literally the world around me. Um, I'll sit here in the middle of Times Square and talk about the fact that I got, you know, 
TGI Fridays in Glee with me, the Mickey D's in front of me, the Times Square Visitor Center, that BTS VC, you know it's Y-L-O-V-E, the hottest MC on your EYE, check my CD, my DVD, it's in HD, I got Disney straight up to the right of me, and Mamma Mia, the musical that's playing currently, like, you know, literally just taking all visual stimuli just to, um, you know, to come up with a farm for words. Uh, that's one of the reasons I try to surround myself with positive things. Like, I try to not surround myself with, like, you know, violent type of, you know, environments or anything like that. Try to surround myself with positive people, positive things, become positive stimuli, become positive lyrics. That's what I do. This. And one of the important things that I've taken away from your music is, you know, get involved in your community. And you've, you've been doing that for, for years. Tell us a little bit about the, the new the project you're working on. Well, we got we just recently got involved. Well, my first of all, my website is hiphopactivist.com. Like that's what I'm all about is activism. Um, so we just got involved recently with the new campaign. Uh, it's a uh, Israeli-based um, group of people who basically group of designers, artists, fashion people who want to get involved and try to make the world a better place. Tikkun Olam, all of that. So um, I, we got involved with them for the This Is Unity campaign. This Is Unity is unfortunately the video um, people, the impression people get from the video is that we're only highlighting Jewish unity and it's way beyond that. We're trying to promote a holistic campaign against bigotry of all kinds. Every person, every family, every group of people, everything has, equal, has intrinsic value. That's what This Is Unity is all about. If people realize that we're all part of one inextricably based web of humanity, then we wouldn't have all of these problems. So that's what This Is Unity is trying to show, that like the chorus of the song says, Ha'olam echad, ve'hashem echad, ve'ha'am echad. The world is one, God is one, the people are one. That's what we're trying to show with This Is Unity. And we got involved with the new campaign to put out t-shirts which are available online, um, you know, to try to, you know, promote this idea that, that it's all about unity, it's all about love, we're all one family. And uh, where can people learn more about your work? In this respect, this is all at shemspeed.com. Uh, we, you know, go to the record label, we're right out there promoting all of these ideas. As you can see, Why Love is truly an incredible artist that is inspiring countless communities around the globe. This is Aaron Herman. And they for watching.